Step 2 in the SCOM ServiceNow connector wizard is setting the SCOM alert resolution state. By default, a resolution state of 101 is set in the wizard. So what does that mean? Well, let's take a look in the SCOM console. In the SCOM console, when we navigate to the administration section, then to settings, we can open the alert configuration. In the alerts configuration dialog, we can configure and add new resolution states for alerts in SCOM. Now a new alert has a resolution state of 0, and a closed alert has a resolution state of 255. So let's create a new resolution state, which we will call ServiceNow1. And we'll give this resolution state an ID of 101, and then click OK to save. Then we'll create an additional resolution state called ServiceNow2, and we'll give it an ID of 102, and click OK to save. So now we have two extra resolution states called ServiceNow1 and ServiceNow2 with corresponding IDs of 101 and 102. We'll click OK to exit the dialog and we'll navigate to the monitoring section where we can see our alerts with their corresponding resolution states. In the monitoring section we can now set alerts to the resolution state which is created. So let's go ahead and set an alert to the resolution state of ServiceNow1 and set a second alert to the resolution state of ServiceNow2. When we look at the resolution state column, you can see that we now have an alert set to the resolution state of ServiceNow1, and we have a second alert set to the resolution state of ServiceNow2. When we go back to our wizard, and remember we created new resolution states of ServiceNow1 and ServiceNow2, with corresponding IDs of 101 and 102. If we now enter a resolution state that equals 101 in the alert polling criteria field, an incident will be created by the connector in ServiceNow for all the alerts in SCOM that are set to the resolution state of ServiceNow 1. If you would also like to add another resolution state for which to create incidents in ServiceNow, just add an OR statement behind the first resolution state and add the second resolution state. Once you have done this, incidents will be created in ServiceNow from any alert in SCOM with a resolution state of ServiceNow 1 or ServiceNow 2. You can add as many resolution states as you like. Just remember to state ID instead of the resolution state name. And also remember that you can always go back to the administration section in SCOM to check the corresponding ID of the resolution state.